you can see is I'm kind of looking at what's known as an edge. You have some trees here and then a field. There's the field behind me. And what is happening is we're looking at a plant right here. And I'll show you. I'll zoom in a little bit closer. This plant that we're looking at right here is a wild grapevine. Okay, you can see it right there, the leaf being sort of chewed on. This is a wild grape, and wild grapes are one of those things that they have a vine. You can see the vine right here, but look at that little guy right there. That is known as a tendril, and what it does is it attaches, you can see it attached right there, is it attaches to another plant, look right here. Right there, you can see the tendril is attached, and it's holding up the vine. So the vine gets its support from another plant, in this case, this tree that's sort of fallen down. But if I back up just a little bit, you'll notice this tree behind me, it's growing all over it. So that's all grapevine covered. And if I move over here, you can see all the grapevine moving up on that tree. Well, what's happened is the grapevine is using the tree for support because the vine isn't very stiff stem like a tree. So that's sort of one thing that a scientist would say is maybe an adaptation. That means it's kind of a way for the plant using either its behavior or a structure to adapt to its environment to get its needs met. Well, let me show you another one. So if we just walk right over here, and I'm going to zoom down. This little guy, this white flower you see here, is a morning glory. And these are the leaves of the morning glory right here. But notice how it's wound itself around this other blade of grass right here for support. And if I pull that up, you can see the morning glory wound around it. And that does that by its stem growth. Yeah, thank you, Sadie. My dog likes to be in the picture. But its stem grows around in a circle until it hits something. So it's another way that the plant has adapted to find a way to support itself to get the light resource, ah, the sun, that it needs to survive. Okay, so everything adapts to its environment in a way that helps it survive. So if we look at these plants right here, they, there's two adaptations we can look at. Tendrils, which are those spirally little things over there on the grapevine, or the fact that the stem grows in a spine down there on our morning glory. Both of those are ways that they've adapted to their environment to get what they need to survive. Now, are they hurting the plants that they're on? No. So in this case, it's, it's not really um, uh, parasitism, where mistletoe, which grows on oak trees, it uses the tree for support, but it also burrows into the tree and steals some of its nutrients. So mistletoe is an example of a parasite, even though it's a plant, because it does the same thing we've seen with these two, but it also takes things away and harms the tree. The grapevine, not harming the tree at all. This morning glory, same thing. So what we're talking about today, we're looking at ways that plants may have adapted to their environment to get their needs met by specialized structures that help them climb because their stems don't have um, enough support. Cool. Check out Mr. Z on TV for more interesting stuff.